Hey guys, welcome back to Pow Game. So today I'm super excited because here we have the MoU 15 by 15. So let's open it up. So I've really wanted this cube for quite a long time and now I have it and I'm super excited because now I will be solving it in a little bit. So make sure to watch the end of the video because then I will tell you my plans for solving this cube. And here we go. Here's the large box. You need to take it out and it is right inside there you guys can see that is the MoU 15 by 15 so now what we're going to do is we'll open it up and I really like this box it's really nice as you can see it's made of gold it's super cool it has all of the MoU 15 by 15 stuff on it here is the clasp and here is the handle I don't think I've heard this breaks but I don't think this one well, because it's kind of tight on there. All right, so let's open this thing up. Inside the box, here's the cube. This thing is kind of heavy. And let's get right into it. This thing is very lubed up. It's very smooth. I got the stickerless version as usual. And so far, this thing turns pretty decently for a cube its size. Let's do a couple algs on it, and as you can see, it's pillowed, so it will um, uh, turn better, and uh, it will turn better because it's bigger. So let's do some algs. This corner cutting isn't the best. Um, here, let's... I kind of have to do wrist turns. But maybe it'll break in in some time. Or maybe I'll just get used to its turning. Um, Alright, yeah, another T perm. This thing is overall a very nice cube. I really like how uh, the stickerless shades come out. Um, it's kind of hard to turn just uh, one layer instead of like two or three. Yeah, I'm really not used to this turning here. Um, it'll just need some breaking in time after I do a solve. So here we go. And I'll do a 3x3 three three stage solve later, and so far this is nice. I'll see some slice turns. It also seems very small. I mean, you wouldn't imagine this to be 15x15. 15 15. Oops. Because this thing is very small. Um, it's not as loose. If I can uh, find a way to loosen it, I probably will. Doesn't look like I can pop any center caps. But, um, I'll find a way to loosen it. Yeah, this thing can do slice moves pretty well. It's a very nice cube. I'm really excited for when I can solve it sometime. And, um, I hope you guys will uh, enjoy that video. I am going to do a live stream and a couple other videos. And I'll show you, I'll tell you guys more about that in the end. So, this thing is pretty nice. Now I'm going to do a checkerboard pattern. So let's get into it. You kind of need uh, the desk that you're using for support if you're using this cube. Because it's a lot um, uh, harder to turn. 
maybe I'll just get used to it. That might be the whole problem. I'm not really sure. But it's really nice how it's pillowed and because then it makes it a lot easier to turn. And here, almost done with the first of the three uh, checkerboard moves. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit harder uh, getting just one slice on this. Um, it turns about the same as my um, Fusion Little Magic 8x8. If you guys have seen my unboxing for that, I have it right here. Um, this thing is kind of stiff. It turns uh, decently well for a big cube, but its size is pretty big compared to this. So I'll just time lapse the checkerboard pattern. So now that I put it in a checkerboard pattern, let's do a little size comparison. So here I have my uh, main for 3x3, three three. I have my main for 7x7, seven seven, and I have the Yuchin Little Magic 8x8, eight eight, which I showed you guys earlier. So uh, the Yuchin Little Magic 8x8 eight eight is a bit too big for an 8x8, eight eight, and I have an unboxing for it. But as you can see, the um, 7x7 is um, almost, it's like uh, a lot smaller, the center pieces. And here are a lot, um, here I'll zoom it in for you guys. The center pieces are a lot bigger than that. Um, and solving a 15x15 15 15 is similar to a 7x7. So, um, that's what I'll be looking forward to in my solve for 3x3. Three three. It's about double the size as a 3x3. Three three. I'm pretty sure this is uh, 120 millimeters. And, um, so, and the 3x3 three three is 56. So, um, now I'll compare it to the 8x8. Now this, uh, the Yuchin Little Magic 8x8 is huge for an 8x8. So it is similar to the size. Now, as you have noticed, all of these other cubes are all uh, cube shaped. They're not pillowed. This thing is pillowed, so it would be a bit different in solving it. And as well as the si size comparison, this thing is compact. It's super compact for a uh, 15 by 15. The other 15 is the Shane Show one and it isn't as compact because this thing is super small. If you guys have seen the other um, Yuchin Huanglong, it is about, uh, for uh, 17 by 17, it's like this much longer. So if you add another th three by three to that size, that's the Huanglong. And recently, Xing Shou also released a 19 by 19. Now there isn't a lot of reviews on it, but this thing is, uh, it is probably like uh, very small compared to 19 by 19. Uh, so yeah. Although this isn't the biggest cube out there, there's a 17 by 17 and a 19 by 19 that are both mass produced. This thing is still going to be a joy to solve and I really look forward to solving it. All right, so I took the checkerboard pattern out of it and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this cube. It's a pretty nice spinner. I like doing that. It's kind of satisfying. It just looks super cool uh, when solved because uh, the shades are super nice and if you scrambled, it just looks crazy. But once it's solved, it looks super cool. Um, at the end of the video, I'll be talking more about solving it. But this thing is like so big yet so small because the cube is huge compared to any other normal cube that you see, but each of the inner pieces are so small, and it's just crazy how big this cube is. Uh, for the shades, I really like the shades. The green is pretty nice. I like the yellow and the white, 
and most of the shades are pretty cool so as well as the shades they're pretty good after i do my solve on it i am going to make a video on if it's worth it to buy this cube or not so make sure to check that out after i do my solve on it and stay tuned for the end of the video so i can tell you guys how i'm going to do my solve all right so now i'm going to do a three by three stage solve on this just to see the feel and how well it works. So I'll get right into it. Uh, the corner cutting is decent, it's not terrible, but you can't expect much with the cube this big. So that's uh, what I'd say about the corner cutting. Um, you definitely do need to do a uh, full uh, wrist turns. You can't just do um, the, where is it, here it is. You can't just do uh, like finger trick moves, you need to do uh, full wrist turns to turn this puzzle. So that's one thing to take into consideration when solving it. I really like how um, cool it looks when, um, when all the edges are put together and all the centers are also. It looks very nice and um, I really enjoy this cube. Uh, it'll be a joy to solve once I do end up solving it, and um, I don't know how fast I'll be. Uh, you guys can comment below how fast you think I'm going to be, and once I finish this 3x3 three three, uh, stage solve, I'll talk more about this cube. But this thing is very cool. I really like how it works, and I'd recommend this one probably over the Shang Show. 15 by 15 because this thing is definitely a, a great turner and MoYu products are like literally amazing so I definitely recommend this thing over a Shang Show because it's just super cool. Um, wide right turns are or wide left turns are decently hard because you just gotta grip the whole layer. And I don't know how much TPS or turns per second I'll be doing. Instead of doing normal wide right turns or wide left turns, you could just do um, the, t um, like if I were doing a wide right turn like this, I could just do a, a left move instead of doing the whole wide right turn because then it would be a bit easier. Um, let's do this case. I'll just uh, finish this solve in it. Alright, so I just finished my 3x3 three three stage solve, and now I'm going to do a commutator on it, which swaps to centerpieces. Um, and I'll tell you how, guys how uh, good it is. Definitely the slice moves are kind of hard, and the corner cutting isn't the best, but we can live with that. Um, I'll probably get used to it, and by the time the scramble is done, it will be a lot uh, easier to move and stuff. So, I'm just doing random centerpieces for this commutator. I'm not doing anything, um, like any specific ones. Uh, so yeah. The, this makes it pretty easy to turn two slice moves. One slice is kind of hard. So as you can see, I just swapped those two uh, center pieces like that, and then I'll put them back. Like it's hard to get the exact slice that you want, but I mean that's kind of difficult with all puzzles. Um, there we go. So you really gotta grip it with your fingers to uh, get the exact slice that you want, and you kind of gotta do like an uh, wide right, uh, then you gotta do like an uh, left move, so if I were to get a slice, I can do like, oh, or I can do a wide right prime here, so I can do uh, it like that, so, you, so to move the slices, you need to uh, do like two moves to move the slices, I mean, with 7x7, seven seven, it's kind of easy to move the slices. You can just go like that. But since this thing is way more complex, you have to do like two moves to move the slices, which is just fun. 
so to sum up my thoughts on this cube, it is a very nice puzzle. I can't wait to solve it. And um, the corner cutting isn't great. When doing turns, it might help if you rotated the cube because I'll probably be doing like a lot of rotations. So for example, if I were to be doing a back move, I could just rotate it and then I could rotate it back because it's a lot easier if you put the turns that you're doing on the upper face. So that is another thing that um, I um, would recommend doing on this cube. I'd really recommend buying this cube. It is $300 on Speed Cube Shop, which isn't too bad. Um, you can also can get it for like around $200 on eBay or whatever other site you shop on. So I'd recommend doing that. Um, now I'll get into what I'm doing when I'm solving it. So when I'm solving it, I am going to do a live stream. So um, I haven't figured out the dates yet. But when I do the live stream, you guys can check that out. I'll um, be putting it on my channel early so you guys can set reminders for it. Um, so for the live stream, I'll be putting it on my channel so it will already be there. And then when I do the live stream, I'll just start it so it won't be like all of a sudden the live stream started. So it'll be on the channel for a little while so you guys can do that. I will also be doing a um, solve like with a time lapse sort of and it will be like a professional uh, camera solve and I will do it with a time lapse. I also will be doing that same thing but with commentary so from the live stream I'll take some live commentary and I'll put it in the solve so you guys can do that. I will be using a couple different cameras which I don't normally use. So that will be a bit different and basically I'll just be doing three videos. I'll be doing the live stream, the time lapse solve, and the time lapse with commentary. So make sure to check those videos out and set reminders for the live streams. 